and welcome back to the Women's Football Show with myself, Pip and Monique. What a weekend for Arsenal fans. Of course, the big loss at the Emirates to Aston Villa, 3-0. But earlier on in the day, the first L of the season for the Women's Super League team, Arsenal women lost 1-0 away to Manchester United. Now, for those of you that watched one of the first episodes of the Women's Football Show this season, I would have told you the teams to watch out for. Of course, Chelsea being one of those, Man City, of course. But I did mention that Man United were one of those teams that people, that just goes under the radar because they're very newly formed professionally, two years in the WSL now, but they are doing extremely well. Uh, and that win against uh, Arsenal over the weekend has put them top of the table. Before the game, Arsenal were sitting comfortably on 15 points um, and Manchester United had 13 points. And now that win has taken them to the top with 16 points. Um, and now our WWW, the, the win streak of greens across our name on the table has now turned to one big red L. Now, going into the game, of course, it wasn't a game that I thought we'd walk, walk away with a nice, you know, 5-0 or 5-1, the big score lines that we're used to seeing. Because uh, earlier in the week, we had a Continental Tires Cup game in our group stage against London Lionesses. And we won 4-0 with all four goals coming from Vivian Miedemar herself, the GOAT, the goal-scoring machine at the moment. But we just couldn't seem to get anywhere close to goal to goal on that on the Sunday afternoon. Vivian Miedema was playing out wide, just like her, our male counterparts with Aubameyang playing out wide, and it just wasn't working for her. And any time she did manage to get the ball in behind, Manchester United just closed in on her. She didn't have the ball, ball for more than five seconds. Um, and it was a very, I would like to say, a very, very fairly even game. But Man United started stronger. They were pressing a lot, real, real high pressing. Most certainly the better side out of the two for the most part of the game. Um, and at the end of the day, it showed with the score sheet 1-0. Now, the goal came from Jess Sigsworth, who did all of the work with that run on through to goal. But she, very unselfishly, she squared the ball to Ella Toon, who got the goal in the back in there. And it felt like it went in slow motion because it hit the post and rolled in. Um, Manuela, Manuela Zinsberger did all she could to try and save it, um, but she just couldn't. And it was 1-0 uh, to United. But it could have been more. But thank you to Manuela Zinsberger. She made some fair few saves. Now, this is a game that Arsenal fans were not expecting to see a scoreline like this because I believe we've netted about 27 goals this season. I stand corrected. 29 goals uh, in five WSL wins. But this was a team we just couldn't seem to get through. Man United put possessed the biggest threat. They had more chances, more shots on goal. Tobin Heath with a beautiful curve into the box as well. And a run from Leah Gayton that, that uh, Ella Toon also fired over the bar. Ella Toon was on, on top form today and, and she deserved the goal. Now you're probably thinking, why am I so bothered about a loss? I'm more frustrated that we had two Arsenal losses in one day. Um, and these are the type of games if you want to be a title winning side again, where you need to pick up points, you cannot lose to drop points against a Man United, a Man City, a Chelsea or Everton now, because the team as the table, as we know, the league is a lot smaller than the Premier League if you're comparing the two. So these are the type of teams you cannot, you cannot drop points against because it all matters at the end of the season. Who Whoever picks up the most points against these type of teams is a team that's most likely going to win the league, believe it or not. Um, so, Gaining no points is a big loss for us, but that is a massive, massive win for Manchester United. Uh, Man United had 48% possession and Arsenal women had 52%. So more possession, but no goals. 23 shots for Man United, though, and only 11 for Arsenal, with five of those shots being on target for Manchester United and only two being on target for Arsenal. Five corners for United, six corners for Arsenal, eight fouls for Ars uh, Man United and 13 fouls for Arsenal. Not the result we were hoping for, of course, but I'll give you the results of the other teams in the WSL fixtures over the weekend. So Chelsea beat Everton 4-0. Birmingham City uh, lost to West Ham 2-1. Brighton lost against Aston Villa. 2-0 against Aston Villa, so it was all wins for Aston Villa this weekend. Um, Manchester United, of course, won 1-0 against Arsenal. Tottenham and Reading was one apiece, uh, one all there. Uh, and Man City, a staggering, a massive 8-1 win over Bristol City. Now, Bristol City have, I believe, five players out uh, in self-isolation. They haven't contracted COVID, but for regulations, they've had to self-isolate at home. So they're without five players. They're without a win in the league at all this season. And it doesn't look very promising that they'll be able to stay up this season. It is early days. They managed to stay up just about last season. Liverpool were the ones that were relegated, but it was the battle between those two, whether who would stay up and who would go down. But Bristol City are on, on the right track to, to being relegated at the moment with no wins at all. And now a massive, massive defeat against Manchester City. And this is how the table looks now.
So, of course, Manchester United women have crept up to the top on 16 points. Arsenal women on 15. Uh, Chelsea are in third with 13 points. And then after those top three is Everton, Manchester City, Reading, Birmingham City, Brighton and Hove Albion, West Ham United, Aston Villa, Tottenham Hotspur and Bristol City on a minus 26 goal difference. Absolutely insane. It is early days. Of course, we can be frustrated that we've uh, we've experienced what it feels to lose like now in, in the WSL this season, but it's only one loss. Hopefully we could pick ourselves back up. Next week is a massive game in Women's Football Weekend where there is a ton loads of derbies. There's Arsenal v Chelsea in the London derby. It was an L against Manchester United. Now Chelsea are the team we haven't seen to beat in recent times. Hopefully, hopefully there's no repeat there and we just get back to winning ways. And of course, there's a Man United, Man City derby. There's the Aston Villa and Birmingham City mid mid Midland derby. So it's going to be a massive... Uh, women's football weekend whilst the men are on international break so make sure you tune into that if you can it's going to be massive all these points matter tune in and i will keep you updated next week for the latest on the women's football here on AFTV on the women's football show i've been pippa monique and i'll see you next week this video is supported by profit accumulator profit accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting match betting isn't gambling and when you do it properly and i mean properly you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.